So we're here at the Central City Concern Employment Access Center with Program Manager Jennifer Wilcox and Assistant Case Manager Odds Johnson. And we have some other crew members here that may briefly appear on film. Mm -hmm. But the star of today's show mm -hmm. is mainstream media reporter Laddie Reed. Yeah. Hey. Laddie sponsored by Gresham Ford. And Laddie, you have some questions for Jennifer and Odds today. Yeah. I'll pay. I will pay. How are the programs funded? Yeah. Okay. So we have a number of different programs and they're funded in a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, we have funding from, I'll start from the federal government, from uh, <laughs> the Department of Labor. Uh, <laughs> we have a, a, a program for homeless veterans uh, through the Department of Labor and also a program for um, prisoner reentry, a RECSO, uh, wow. reentry of ex-offenders through the Department of Labor. We get some funding from the state for supported employment for individuals with mental health challenges. Boy, 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 yeah, and right there. We get funding from the city for uh, three different programs that we have working on individuals living in, working with people living in our transitional housing and our permanent housing. And we have a partnership with uh, JOIN, which is a um, a homeless organization. They do a lot of street outreach for homeless individuals and uh, we have a partnership with them so we get some funding there. And what am I missing? Um, a few other and then we also have private fundraising that we do that helps cover some of our some of our costs. Right. Do you, and yeah. the process of how to, do you help the people? Oh, how do we help folks? So I'm going to let Aj talk a little bit about his experience. I can take it over. Um, I haven't been out of the, um, a facility um, for a whole year yet. Uh, so coming out of a situation I was gone 16 and a half years, um, I needed to transition into, you know, uh, living free of myself, free of society. Um, this place helped me accomplish a lot of my goals. I would come here, uh, they would get me... Um, kind of school for job readiness and equipped enough to be able to fill out a uh, application adequately <laughs> uh, without leaving you know details out and how to address certain situations um, and topics about my historical events uh, in the criminal field. <laughs> um, uh, they also help push, but they don't push so hard that you want to just give up. They push in a way that a, a family would push. You know, it's real family oriented here. They make you feel comfortable and they don't frown down on your disability. So when you come in, they just help you prepare yourself for a job. They give you the better tools or even if you didn't have tools, they instill them in you. So uh, they pretty much, you know, help push you. So, uh, thanks. Um, yeah, thank y'all. Yeah. So kind of the general process is folks come in, we see what program they're the best fit for. And then uh, we connect them with uh, an employment specialist who takes them through the whole process of getting a job. So starting to think about what kind of job is a good fit, what have you done in the past, what worked, what didn't work, then putting together a resume, cover letter, all those kinds of things. And then the employment staff goes out and talks to employers. So we work um, with local businesses and try to develop develop relationships with them and find out what openings they have, maybe create an opening if that's possible, and uh, then connect the folks that we're serving to the employers that we've got relationships with, and hopefully it's a good match, and then provide ongoing support. If I may, I'll just curtail that with a little bit more information. Um, they really specialize in you know, providing different resources uh, that some of the individuals coming in don't know about, they're not aware about it. Uh, like for clothing, um, even housing, or getting back on track with your license. Um, it just matures you and gets you ready for the real world. It prepares you. Uh, if you're homeless, they put you in transitional housing to kind of uh, prepare you mentally, you know, to be able to pay your bills and to manage and budget. I mean, they teach you a variety of different skills that it takes to survive out here in free society. Uh, I heard yesterday uh, 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 the, the down. They're shutting it down? Yesterday the unemployment rate went down? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I heard up 
Now, I'm not there. Yeah, it's been going up and then, yeah. and then down. I'm not there. It's a good buzz off, a good buzz off. Yeah, wait, you're what saying so that? many people still out of work, but yeah. you're saying the unemployment uh, rate's still down. Yeah. Kind of yeah. confusing for everybody. It is. And, you know, the unemployment rate in Oregon is higher than the, the national unemployment no, rate. Why? And has been for a long time. No, why? Why? Uh, eight dollars $8 an hour. Eight dollars an hour? For minimum wage. Yeah, we do have one of the higher minimum wages. I have been. Pay bill, light bill, light bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh boy, oh boy. So, yeah. so are they, uh. What about maybe a question uh, you could ask, Larry, and I'll, I'll have you do this in, in your words if you want, but maybe um, some words to employer. Maybe employers, maybe there's an employer out there that would like to be a part of. Uh, mm -hmm. Of helping Central City Concern? Yeah, but uh, I, I want to please people. I want to have more people here. Not a Chicago, a Hong Kong, no, no, no. Up here. You want to see here in the US? US? What, in yeah. Oregon? Yeah. In Oregon. In, in America in general, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> my Hong Kong, no, no. So what kind of uh, message could, would you give to employers uh, that might want to be a partner with your program here? I think that I, what I would say to employers is that we work really closely with the employers that we connect with and we try to provide supports to them along the way. So we'll, we pre-screen individuals making sure that it's the right match for what you're looking for and then we provide ongoing support so that should anything unexpected occur, we're there to, to help uh, facilitate whatever needs to happen from there. Um, in most cases, um, there are a lot of programs that are only 30 to 90 days. This program happens to be a year, and then um, you still have an opportunity to give back to this program uh, once you got off your feet. If you haven't gotten on your feet, I'm pretty sure that they still accommodate you in one way or another and provide you with you know, the resources that you need in order to prevail. Mm -hmm. in life. Um, this is a great program. Um, they didn't sugarcoat and they don't sugarcoat uh, what they stand for and uh, that's to help. Yeah, I hate sugarcoat. Yeah, I don't like sugarcoat I, I hate, I hate, <laughs> I, I, I do I, my camera, I, 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 I no, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. No, no, no. no, you're not going to sugarcoat it and tell the straight truth? Yeah, I uh, God, too, too cold. You think I sugarcoat too much there, lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, Jared, they, they hold a lot of the individual, all the individuals that come here, especially for the meetings, accountable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So when I say they get them job ready, um, you have to be here, you have to be punctual on time. If you're 30 seconds late, you know, you got to wait until next week to show up. So it teaches you to be on time to work. Um, yeah. And, you know, turn your cell phone off and, you know, prepare yourself. Use a restroom ahead of time. Anything that you have to do, um, conducting yourself during the course of an interview or at the job, if you anchor that job, this establishment gets you ready for it. It's super, super sorry, so. I I try. I try. I try. I, I tease him all the time. Oh, you tease me all the time? Yeah. It's a good Not me. I'm a fan. It's a good Half of uh, How many work here? How, how many work here? How many people work here? No, how many oh, How, how many, many people work here? Oh, how long have I worked here? here? I've been here four and a half years. Wow. Yeah? And education? Education? I have a, a bachelor's and a master's degree in rehabilitation counseling from Boston University. Uh, how easy to find a job? Is it part of the job? How uh, easy is to find a job? Oh. Easiest part of the job? Oh, the easiest part of the job? No, no, easy to find a job. Oh, was it easy to find this oh, job? Oh, was it easy to find this job? Um. <laughs> was it, it was a process, you know. I um, I actually 
uh, it was through networking, which is the kind of the hidden job market. Networking is the best way to look for a job. Um, so that's, uh, that's right, how I got right. this job. Yeah, the, 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 the ghost group now. Uh, on my first ghost group now. Yeah, the, the, the education now. Is he find out here? I think I think what he also oh. wants to know from the ed, from the oh. education part of the job, like what what has this job taught you, or what have you oh, learned? From what have I learned from this job? Yeah. Wow. Tons <laughs> of things. Um, I've learned so much from this job. Uh, I think I've learned a lot about um, the folks that we serve and and what the recovery process is and how that looks different for every person. I've learned a, a lot about budgeting. Um, and grant writing, and um, uh, I've learned a lot from, um, I've heard so many amazing stories from the individuals that we serve, and, um, and what huge strides people make, and the, the triumphs they make over, over obstacles that are in their way. I want to quit. Yeah. Eight more years to tell me what good goal. What's my goal? Uh, to, to eight years. Uh, eight years from now. Eight years from now. A year from now. Yeah. Right. yeah. Twenty goals. Eight years. Twenty. Short term and long term. Short term and long term goals. Three. I want to. For me personally, or for the for the program uh, here. All work. The whole I guess both. Lottie has broad questions. <laughs> strong question. Yep. Um, I think uh, what I'd like to see for short term, for a year from now, from here, would be t some stable funding. Um, uh -huh. Which I know. Uh, uh -huh. It's social services, so I, I'm not, you know. But that, that would be my, my goal. It would be on that. What? It would be on. Dream on. Dream on. Yeah, I know. I know. And then 20 years from now, it would be uh, again to have stable funding and to have a huge um, alumni group of, of folks that we've served that have that are successful out in the community that that have opportunities to come and give back and um, and that all have their own businesses where they're hiring our customers. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. What will we do? If tomorrow there was no more money, what would I do? Uh, I'd go to the uh, where Carter. Where's Carter? Uh, if they cut off funding tomorrow, yeah, what will we do? <laughs> <laughs> this would probably be an edited question. I hope so. <laughs> I would cry. Um, that would probably be the first thing I would do, and I would, um, I would try to find ways for the people that we're serving now to get in, to get what they need to get into programs that still existed. Hopefully, there would still be some places they, that they could get help. So I would, I would try to get them into places, and I would try to connect my staff to other places where they could work. So take care of the people that I serve. Hi. Okay, keep the momentum so, going. So, so, yeah. so a couple of things. I think we got some some great material here. Um, so, so one question for you first, Jennifer. Yeah. Um, is there anything that we haven't asked you that you'd like us to ask? I don't think so. You guys have okay. done a good job. And then, and then I have one editing request for you, Laddie. Uh -huh. Let's try and ask the funding question again <laughs> without <laughs> booing the Department of Labor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie. We may be asking yeah. them for a grant. <laughs> I don't lie. I don't lie. Okay, so ask your funding question again. How are we funded? How are we funded? No, how, how are we funded? No, how, uh, how does the funding we, directly relate to people finding jobs? Yeah. Okay, that's another question, but we can. Yeah. You can answer that. So, uh, so the funding literally pays for, it pays for the staff that help walk people through the employment process and talk to employers. It pays for the lights and the building. Um, it pays for, yeah, yeah. yeah we have yeah, lights. Yeah. And, um, it pays for things that we're able to provide to help customers like bus passes or tools, like steel-toed boots or... Oh, um, boy. 
uh, welding hammers or tools. Yeah, tools and um, a lot of uh, clothing. Mm -hmm. um, they even provide clothing um, mm -hmm. upon donations of it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they also send you to different places with vouchers. Um, mm -hmm. You know, especially when you're fresh out of the penitentiary and you need that, you need some type of clothing um, or maybe even you know uh, utensils. Uh, they have a variety of different things that they provide, and sometimes if they're not donated it, then they can, you know, do a voucher and give you funding for it. So. Yeah. Now, it wouldn't be a Laddie Reed Gresham Ford interview without your signature question. Are you ready for your signature question, Laddie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Two questions. All right. Two questions. Three questions? Three questions. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> One. Car hit. What kind of car? What kind of car do I drive? What kind of car does the does the business oh, have? What do the business have? Company cars, okay. We do have company cars, and the EAC has a car, and I have no idea what kind of a car it is. I'm sorry Ooh, to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I personally don't drive, so I don't pay attention to cars. I do. <laughs> I, I can tell that you do, and I'm sorry that I don't. Well, well bus. I take the bus. Yep, I take the bus. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What bus? What bus? I take the 77 and the 20. And on good days, I actually walk. But most of the time, I, I take the 77 I, I, and the 20. I've been taught. I've been taught. I've been here. I'm all the I'm all the line. You've been on all the bus lines? I, I'm all. Laddie, Laddie has yeah. many more bus lines memorized than, than I do. One, two, nine, ten. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 eight, got a pill. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I got a bus line. My, yeah. my, uh, one, ten. Fourteen, that's your bus line? Bet, whole world, bet, whole world. Now, now it's, 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 it's great to take the bus, Laddie, we're big fans of public transportation, but we also need everyone buying a car from Gresham Ford, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my plan. That's right, Gresham Ford. My plan. Your, your friend is sponsoring yeah. that. I did my car. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Ash, do you, do you drive? I get my car. Do you drive? I, I drive your okay. car. Okay, well, let, uh, we'll have Laddie, Laddie ask the question to you. We we gotta know what kind of car uh, Oz drives. Yeah. Oh, oh we're <laughs> passing out business cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. All right. I I have, oh, have plenty it. of Laddie's cards. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. All right. Here's one for you. Cool. All right. cool. So, so Aj has an answer to your driving question, Laddie, so why don't you ask him more? Oh, what kind of car would you like? I drive a Lincoln, but that's just my temporary car. I do want a Ford Torso. Where? Uh, wherever I can get it from. Uh, At cheapest? <laughs> 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 Is your friend on here or actually you? actually be filming be filming Laddie here when he Okay. Call my friend. Uh-huh. Big Bart. Big Bart. Big Bart. Bessie Wills boss. is her big is her boss. name. The big boss of Gresham big Ford. Boss. Bess Wills, the general manager, thank you for her sponsorship of uh, mainstream media. Yes. Please the boy call the happy I'm advertising. Please. You do a lot of advertising for Gresham yeah. Ford? Yeah, yeah. You do. They do a great job. Yeah. All right. Uh, good interview, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. We got plenty of material there. Okay. Good.